I'm diving more into the interest rate model to uh, directly jump into the HGM. So let, let's check here what's going on. Just hold on. So yes. So uh, the, the first part that we have been looking here in this manual, it talks about uh, how to create a portfolio. Because ultimately when you run these models, these interest rate model, your idea would be to find out uh, how would things move when interest rate moves up or down. So you, you this would give you the mean interest path that would be used uh, to uh, uh, discount the things as well as uh, you can find out sensitivity. So head Jero or uh, Merton model is uh, based on this book Modeling Fixed Income by Robert A. Jero. Uh, so the uh, the MATLAB function create HGM forward uh, rate tree and uh, this function takes uh, three structures as uh, in input arguments. So these are three big things. Uh, the uh, volatility uh, uh, specification, uh, the interest rate term structure and the tree time layout. So calling the function creates uh, the HGM tree creates the structure HGM tree containing time and forward information uh, for a bushy tree. Uh, the structure is self-contained unit uh, includes HGM tree of rates, uh, found and forward tree and volatility rate and specification. So how do we call this function? As I told you we have three inputs, uh, wall spec, rate spec and time spec. These are structures in themselves. Wall spec is a structure that uh, specifies forward rate volatility process. So, uh, uh, wall spec uh, is created using the function HGM wall spec. The HGM wall spec function supports the specification of multiple factor, it handles by factor. If you look at the structures here, rather than creating 10 15 inputs, they have created three structures and try to uh, divide things. So, this is a, a, a better way. So, incorporate uh, mutting factor will help us. So, one factor assume that interest has a single source of uncertainty, but where well, you can uh, go ahead and take a lot of things. Uh, rate spec is the interest rate specification of the initial uh, rate curve. This is uh, created with function INT, ENV, SET, interest rate term structure. Time spec is the uh, time tree, the, the variable is created uh, with HGM to represent mapping of level of times and level of uh, dates for rate coupling. So, you know, you might uh, do this interval for one day, one week, one year and uh, keep on adding the disturbance or you can just create one step and uh, add uh, all those parts. So, if, if you look at it, so suppose you are drawing a, a 1000 path tree. So, you can draw 1000 path tree something like this and this should be 1000. Alternatively, you can create a one day, so one day 1000 path and this would be very high. So you can create one uh, 10 into 10 and so on. So you can think of that. The earlier uh, uh, process was uh, uh, more simplification. So let's look at the first input. So as I told you, we have three inputs here. If you look uh, in, in a logical sense, we have the model, we have the initial number and we have the time specification. And that's how things uh, should look at. So the function HGM wall spec generates uh, again going back here. So we are at wall spec, HGM tree, wall spec, rate spec, time spec. So we are at wall spec. The function HGM wall spec generates the volatility structure which specifies the volatility process uh, uh, sigma TDT criteria forward and this concept represents starting rate of the forward rate represent observation time. Each vector starts with a string specifying a following by initial parameter. So wall spec is equal to HGM wall spec uh, constant 0 0.10. So this will uh, uh, give you a wall spec is equal to uh, find object HGM wall spec factor type uh, factor argument. Num factor in uh, field in the wall spec uh, num factor is equal to the number of factors used to generate was 1. Uh, the factor model increase indicates that this is constant factor. Now consider a two factor volatility model being from proportional and an expo exponential factor. If you remember in FRM part 2 we were talking about uh, one factor, two factor, three factor model. And this is uh, again a structure that uh, talks again about uh, the same thing. So uh, two factor made from proportional factor and an exponential factor. So exponential factor sigma is equal to 0 0.1, lambda is equal to 1, proportional factor and build one would be proportional cos x cos time exponential sigma lambda. So if you look here, uh, this sigma has, uh, is, is an integer type uh, and whatever there which is not into exclamation mark is uh, in fact a curve. So curve prop, curve uh, term and so on. So this would be your wall spec. Uh, 
so input should was generated using two factors the uh, the tree has three branches each branch has probability of 0.2 of uh, going up and down specifying the interest rate term structure rates back uh, going back uh, so that we don't get lost we were looking at three things wall spec rates back time spec looked at the wall spec that would be more towards how we model those volatility the rate spec will have uh, a compounding rates and a start date and date must and uh, this, this is quite simple and the time spec will have a valuation date of maturity maturity compounding rate uh, and how things would look at so uh, these three would be our model so the uh, the simplest model could be created as a test case by us and uh, checked uh, so that uh, we can get acquainted with the system so creating an hgm tree wall spec is constant uh, 0.1 comma 0 HGM tree is equal to wall spec rate spec time scale. HGM tree is equal to one into one time spec one into one rate spec one into one. Uh, total object zero one two uh, three into one double CFI cash flow and forward uh, tree uh, tree rate. So using HGM tree in MATLAB, and we work on HGM model finally uses trees to represent forward rate. At the highest, these trees have uh, structured wrapped around them. The structure encapsulates the information to interpret uh, uh, what is given in the tree. uh consider an example uh, with a portfolio data generally it's hard to get these data so i'll i'll, I'll help you get uh, these data in in some way so whose will be this bytes class and all all these functions uh you can examine some details at gm tree structure so at gm tree at gm uh, forward tree and data the first node uh, is uh, forward tree 1 and rates back uh, is again generated the second node the third node isolating a specific node graphical view of forward rate so this would be your graphical view this would be your path so pricing uh, pricing and the price tree and how to use this model to price things so price price tree hgm price and these three inputs if you observe here the function that gave us everything uh, uh, in, in in the output let me go back there was hgm tree depends on what uh, two things you want to take and then you can find out the volatility at gm pricing so if there are eight portfolios uh, you will find out uh, what what's going on things would be approximated and your price vector so you have price tree structure and tree viewer to view through the price So probably these would be some things that we would do uh, in a very simple uh, input and try to understand what's going on in the later classes.